Hello. So for today, no, we will be uh we will be doing Laplace transform solution to differential equations and integral differential equations. So this also serves as an introductory course to your not just to your advanced engineering mathematics, but if you are an ECE student. Okay, so this is also an introduction to the course of signal systems and signals processing as well as with feedback and control systems. No? So, okay, let us start with the differenti differentiation in time domain. So, this is a property of Laplace transform wherein we take the Laplace transform of certain derivatives of a given function. Let's say, let us start with y. Now, y of t, let's say. So, if we're going to get the Laplace transform based on the definition of Laplace transform on the previous discussion, but this will yield to y of s. Okay, this will give us y of s. Okay, how about if we have dy over dt? Okay, if we have dy over dt. If we're going to get the Laplace transform of this one, okay, so this will give us s y of s minus y of 0 where y of 0 is the initial value okay of the base function y okay kaya so y of 0 next no so paano kapag ka excuse me wait lang so paano kapag ka d squared y over dt squared no we are asked to get the the laplace transform of the second derivative so the Laplace transform of this one will be s squared y of s minus s y of 0, okay, minus s, oh sorry, minus y prime of 0. Okay, so this is the Laplace transform. Okay, and we can continue, mga anak na mga anak in terms yan. So, the general form of the differentiation in time domain let's say we have the nth order derivative of y in respect to t okay and we are asked to find the laplace transform of this one okay the general formula is s raised to n okay so this is equivalent to s raised to n y of s Okay, like, yan ang starting point natin lagi. Then, minus, magbabawas ka ng isa sa exponent ng s natin dito. So, this will become s minus, uh, s raised to n minus 1. Okay, then you will start with the base initial condition. Okay, initial value rather. No? So, yung pinaka-base, wala mo ng derivative, doon ka mag start Just like with this one, no? We always started with y of 0, at saka with this one. After y of s. Okay, then minus subtract ka ulit ng isa no dun sa sa exponent ng s n minus 2 tapos y prime of 0 aakyat ka na ng isang derivative no katulad nito no so hanggang no itutuloy-tuloy mo lang hanggang okay so you will arrive with s raised to n minus uh sorry uh, s times y raised to n minus 2 of 0 wherein s, ang exponent na lang ng s natin dito is 1 no? uh, nakatago na lang pero 1 na lang exponent ng s natin dyan and si y raised to n minus 2 is 2 derivatives lower dun sa given okay, yung, initial, uh, yung initial value ng 2 derivatives lower dun sa given then ang pinaka last term natin dito is minus y raised to n minus 1 of 0. Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo, no? Kung mapapansin ninyo, dito sa unang sa una nating nakuha, so, d squared y over dt squared, it's a second derivative, ang magiging pinakuhiling term natin is the initial condition or the initial value of the first derivative. No? So, one, 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 uh, one order lower yung last term natin lagi. Okay? So, I will add one concept, no? So, this is what we call the zero initial condition. And this is the, the zero initial condition. Where in, if we have d, d raised to zero of y over dt, and pag pinakuha sa atin ng Laplace transform, 
na to. Okay? This is equivalent to S raised to N Y of S. Essentially, that is the very the very first term. Okay, the very first term of all the uh, differentiation in time domain formulas natin. No? So, yung pinaka first term. Yun yung zero initial condition na tinataba. Okay? So, ayun na. No? I hope malinaw kung paano natin kinonstruct no? yung uh, Laplace transform ng ating derivatives. So, let's try uh, some examples. So, we have here y double prime minus y prime minus 6y is equal to 0. So, y of 0 is 11 and y prime of 0 is negative 28. So, let's try to solve. So, we have here y double prime minus y minus 6y is equivalent to 0. So, let's get the Laplace transform. Okay. So, this will give us s squared y of s. Nandito pa lang tayo ha. Kay, kay y double prime pa lang tayo. Minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0. Okay. Yan yung... Para yan kay ano lang. Kay y double prime pa lang yan. Okay. Next. Minus... So, we have the Laplace transform of y prime. That's, that is s y of s minus y of 0. Okay? So, yan yung kay y prime. Then, we have minus 6y. Diba? So, we will have here minus 6 times y of s because the Laplace transform of y is y of s. Okay? Is equal to 0. So, the Laplace transform of 0 is 0. Okay? So, how are we going to proceed with this? So, you can simplify no, by distribu distributing the necessary signs, just like with this one. No, distribute mo na siya. And you're going to initially substitute y of 0 and y prime of 0. Dun sa mga kailangan. So, this is one advantage of solution using Laplace transform as, con as compared with the conventional solution of differential equations. Okay? So, because uh, nagagamit agad natin yung initial values. And our final answer will always be in the particular solution. Okay? So, we have s squared y of s minus, ang ating y of 0 is 11. So, we have minus 11s. Minus y prime of 0 is negative 28. So, we have negative 28 here. Then, we have minus sy of s. So, we have sy of s. Then, we have negative times negative that is positive, And our y of 0 is 11. Okay? So, minus 6y of s is equivalent to 0. Okay? So, next, ang ating susunod na step is... I'm oh, sorry. So, ang ating susunod na step is we are going to segregate the terms. Lahat ng may y of s. Okay, sorry. Lahat ng may y of s, just like with this, with this, and with this, are going to stay in the left side. That's yung mga hindi naka-underline will go to the right side. Okay? So, we have s squared y of s minus s y of s minus 6y of s is equivalent to so we have negative 11s so pagdating sa kabila positive na yan 11s positive 28 diba magiging positive to remember so positive 28 nilipat sa kabila negative 28 then meron ka pang 11 dito positive 11 pag nilipat mo magiging negative 11 okay so factor out sy of s since common naman sila diba so we have sy of s multiplied to s squared minus s minus 6 okay is equivalent to 11 s minus 39 okay so divide both sides by s squared minus s minus 6 because ang goal natin is ma i uh, ma ihiwalay natin si sy of uh, si y of s no ma i segregate natin from the other terms ayan so cancel cancel Okay, so we have sy of s is equivalent to 11s minus 39 all over 
s squared minus s minus 6. So, pag, na, pag nakuha nyo na yung value ng y of s, no, using the manipulation that uh, we need to do, uh, you're going to perform inverse Laplace no, to get the particular solution. But before you do you do that, see to it that your right side of the equation is already ready. No, naka, parang naka-akma naka or naka-forma na siya for the inverse Laplace transform. So, we have... I ano muna natin decompose natin to so using partial fraction decomposition and so using partial fraction so we will have here 11s minus 39 Factor out natin yung denominator. So, s, s squared minus s minus 6. Pag finactor natin yan, this will give us s minus 3 and s plus 2. Okay? Kasi pag pinag-add natin to, negative 3 plus 2 will give us negative 1, which is the coefficient of the middle term. No? So, we have a over s minus 3 plus b over s plus 2. Okay? Yan yung decomposed uh, fraction natin. Now, let's solve for A and B. So, we have here 11S minus 39 is equivalent to magmumultiply ako ng original denominator ko. Diba? S minus 3 at saka S plus 2. Para makakancel ko na to. As well as with this one and with this one. But we're going to distribute yung hindi kasama sa denominator. For example, kay A, S, uh, since walang S plus 2 kay A, you need to multiply. No, so we have A times S plus 2 plus B times S minus 3. Okay? So distributing, we have 11S minus 39 is equivalent to A S plus 2A plus B S minus 3B. Okay, so yan yung ating distribution. So, uh, we will be using the coefficient method to determine the unknowns, no? Yung ating A and B. So, lahat ng may S at saka walang S. Kasi S lang naman yung pinakamataas natin na variable, eh. So, we have S raised to 1, S raised to 0. Okay, dyan tayo mag-start. Kukunin nyo lang lahat ng coefficients, tas equate nyo lang. So, we have 11 is equal to as is, no? Wala kayong transpose or anything. Tapos, 11a, ah, sorry, 11 is equal to a plus b. Kasi yun yung coefficients ng s. Okay? Si s raised to 0 naman yung walang s. ba s raised to 0 is 1. So, we have negative 39 is equivalent to 2a minus 3b. I will call this equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Okay? So, there, there are various ways of solving this one. No? So, uh, yung iba, uh, they prefer using substitution or something. Now, pero ako, elimination na lang yung gagamitin ko. Mas mabilis kasi. Okay, so, I will be multiplying positive 3 to equation number 1. Okay, times 3. 3 times equation 1. Okay, so we will have 33 plus, uh, 33 is equal to 3a plus 3b. So, I will call this equation number 3. And from this, i-add natin sa equation 2. So, we have negative 39 is equal to 2a minus 3b. So, divide uh, adding the two equations. No? So, 3b will cancel each other out. No? Since uh, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, we have here negative 6 is equivalent to 5a. So, therefore... A is equivalent to divide both sides by 5 to cancel out. So, we have negative 6 over 5. This is the value of A. Yung A natin sa decomposed fraction natin. Substitute natin to with equation number 1 to determine the value of B. So, we have 11 is equivalent to negative 6 over 5 plus B. So, we have B is equal to 11 plus 6 over 5. Okay, so which is 11 will become uh, 55 over 5. So 55 plus 6, that is 61 over 5. Ayan. So we have here B, we have here A. So 
to the decompose fraction, no? Ito, ito, yung nakakita ninyo dito. Diyan natin siya ipapalit. No? So, ang denominator ni A is S minus 3. So, doon natin siya ilalagay. Y of S. A over S plus 3. Or rather, S minus 3. Plus B ng over S, uh, S plus 2. So, substituting A is equal to negative 6 over 5. So, we have negative 6 over 5 times 1 over S minus 3. Okay? Since fraction to, to avoid complex fractions, minultiply ko na lang. Now, parang kumbaga, tinabi ko yung A dun sa fraction mismo. Then, plus B, that is 61 over 5 times 1 over S plus 2. Okay? So, this is Y of S. Okay. Now, are we ready for inverse Laplace? No? So, yes, we are now ready for the inverse Laplace. So, yung 1 over S minus 3, may Laplace transform na yan. Also with this one. The others are, consta are constants. So, wala na tayong problema. So, applying inverse Laplace transform. Okay, so we have Y is equivalent to. So, we have negative 6 over 5. Okay, the inverse Laplace of 1 over S minus 3 is e raised to 3t plus 61 over 5. The Laplace transform of, uh, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over S plus 2 is e raised to negative 2t. Diba? So, since common si 1 over 5, I can factor it out. So, y is equivalent to 1 over 5 times 61 e raised to negative 2t minus 6e raised to 3t. And this is the final answer. So as you can see, no, na diretso na natin sa particular solution. Hindi na tayo dumaan sa general solution using Laplace transforms. Okay, so and personally, I find this the easiest way of solving differential equations. No, walang walang calculus na involved. No, so purely Laplace and algebra lang. Let's have example number 2. So, we have here y double prime plus 1 over 25y is equal to 1 over 50t squared. So, we have our initial values y of 0 is equal to negative 25 and y prime of 0 is equal to 0. So, we have y double prime plus 1 over 25y is equal to 1 over 50t squared. No. So you can go directly to Laplace using this for uh, this equation but I personally do not like fractions. No. So to uh, eliminate fractions I will multiply the LCD no which is 50 para mag-cancel to tapos ito magka-cancel pero may may maiiwan kang to sa taas. No. So we have here 50 y double prime plus 2y is equivalent to t squared. No? To simplify the equation. So, let's do the Laplace transform. Okay, so we have here 50 times S squared Y of S minus S Y of 0 then minus Y prime of 0. Okay, so next we have here plus 2 Okay, uh, sugo lang. So, we have here plus 2y, so that is 2y of s. Then, this is equivalent to 2 over s cubed. Diba, the Laplace transform of t squared is 2 factorial over s raised to 2 plus 1. So, pag sinimplify natin yon, 2 over s cubed. So, distributing, no? However, this will just be 0. Ito. Diba? Based on the initial condition or the initial value. So, wala na tayong problema doon. This will become negative uh, 28. Ba? Uh, negative 25, sorry. So, we have positive. So, we have 50 S squared Y of S. Okay. So, this is plus. So, 25. Times, anong relationship ni 50 kay 25? Diba 25 times 25 is 50? So, I can uh, factor uh, 25 from 50. That will give us 25 times 2. 25 times 25 is 25 squared. No? So, can do that. Times 2, S. No? 
So, para lang at least uh, later makikita ninyo yung importance niyan ng ginawa ko. Okay? Then, okay na tayo dito. Then, plus 2y of s. So, this is equivalent to 2 over s cubed. Okay? So, para, para matanggal ko si s cubed, I can actually multiply the whole equation with s cubed. Diba? So, magdi-distribute na lang ako ngayon dito. So, we will have 50. Sorry. So, we will have 50 s to the fifth y of s plus 25 squared times 2 s to the fourth kasi s times s cube is s to the fourth plus 2 s cube y of s is equivalent to Diba? Mas madali siyang i-evaluate. So, again, lahat ng may y of s, e1, lahat ng walang y of s, transpose mo sa kabila. So, we have here 50, s raised to 5, y of s, plus 2, s cube, y of s. So, this is equivalent to 2 minus 2, times 25 squared s to the fourth. Okay, so, mapapansin ninyo sa lahat ng terms, common C2, so, pwede ko na ma-factor out yun, no? so, para ma-cancel, diba? So, this will become 25. So, to wala na to, 1 na lang yan. Also, with this one, 1 na lang, tapos ito, mawawala. No, kasi may 25 squared ka naman. So, therefore, we have 25 s to the fifth plus s cubed Okay, so multiplied to y of s. Finactor out ko na lang guys ha. Finactor out ko na. So this is equivalent to 1 minus 25 squared s to the 4th. Okay, so dividing both sides. 25 s to the 5th plus s cubed. Okay, so ganun din dito. So we have 25 s to the 5th plus s cube so cancel cancel diba so we will have y of s is equivalent to 1 minus 25 squared s to the fourth over so common c s cube so i can factor out s cube diba times 25 s squared plus 1 okay so what can you observe with the numerator? With the numerator given na nandito sa ating problem. So, this is some indifference, uh, some a difference of 2 squares. So, meaning we can factor this one out. So, this is equivalent to... So, this is equivalent to 1 plus 25 s to the 4th. Uh, sorry, s squared. Kasi diba, F to the fourth, pag any square mo is S squared. Ito, naka-square na to. So, 25 na lang yung may iwan. 1 minus 25 S squared. Okay, ganyan yung ating arrangement. So, all over S cubed times 25 S squared plus 1. May makakancel ba tayo? Yes, meron. ba yung 1 plus 25 S squared. At saka yung nasa denominator. Diba? They're just the same. So, therefore, we have here, simplified y of s is equivalent to 1 minus 25 s squared over s cubed. Diba? So, since yung numerator is operated by addition, by addition or subtraction, and yung denominator is a single variable s, no? so, I can split the, uh, the expression. So, we have 1 over s cubed. Minus 25 s squared over s cubed. So, obviously, this one will cancel. Tsaka to. 1 na lang may iwan sa baba. So, diba this, the Laplace transform of 1 over s is 1. So, okay na tayo doon. Dito na lang tayo. Kay 1 over s cubed. So, saan siya pinakamalapit, guys? Sige nga, if you can remember. Saan pinakamalapit yung ating... Uh, 1 over s cube. Diba remember, the Laplace transform of t raised to n, this is equivalent to n factorial over s raised to n plus 1. 
Okay, so if we're going to take 1 over s cubed to this form, so yung denominator natin, pwede natin kunin na s raised to 2 plus 1. So ano yung kulang natin? Yung n na 2 factorial. Okay, so ito yung dapat makuha natin. So for us to get this, I will multiply 2 factorial over 2 factorial dito sa 1 over s cubed. So we have here, y of s is equivalent to 2 factorial over 2 factorial times 1 over s cubed, okay, minus 25 times 1 over s. Okay, para kitang-kita natin ano yung mga pwede nating i-Laplace transform or i-inverse Laplace transform. So, this now is ready for inverse Laplace. Ayan. Okay? So, therefore, y is equivalent to, so that is 1 half. Okay? So, t squared. So, the, the inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s cubed is t squared. No? So, minus 25. Okay? So, this is the answer. Yeah. Okay? So, y is equal to 1 over 2. Or 1 half t squared minus 25. No? So, ayan. Okay? So, I hope malinaw yun guys. Ano? So, let's have our third example. So, for the third example, sabi dito, no? So, we have y double prime plus 7y prime plus 12y is equal to 21e e to the 3t, no? So, y of 0 is 7 over 2. Y prime of 0 is negative. 10. So, we have here y double prime plus 7y prime plus 12y is equivalent to 21e raised to 3t. So, let's apply Laplace transform. So, we have here s squared y of s minus sy of 0. Minus y prime of 0. So, that is for y double prime. ba? Next. So, we have plus 7 times ang ating y prime. Ang ating y prime is s y of s minus y of 0. Okay? Yan yung ating Laplace transform. Then, usap ko lang. Oh, wala pala space. <laughs> so, we have plus... 12y of s, so that is 4y, so this is equivalent to 21. What's the Laplace transform of e raised to 3t? Diba that is times 1 over s minus 3. That's the Laplace transform of e raised to 3t. So, game, let us simplify. So, we have here s squared y of s minus, what is y of 0? That is 7 over 2 s minus negative 10, so that is plus 10. Okay, so okay na tayo sa first three terms. So, plus 7sy of s. So, minus y of 0, that is uh, minus 7 times 7 over 2. Okay, so plus 12y of s. So, this is equivalent to 21 over s minus 3. Okay, so... Let us now simplify, no? So, s squared y of s. Lahat ng may y of s, e1. No? Ito. Ito. At saka ito. The rest will go on the other side. So, we have plus 7s. Plus 12. Oh, sorry. Forgot to write the y of s. y of s plus 12y of s. So, this is equivalent to 21 over s minus 3. Okay? So, we have here negative 7 over 2s. So, that is positive 7 over 2s. Okay? Then, we have negative 10. So, we have here 7 times 7 is 49 over 2. So, that is plus 49 over 2. Okay? So, Let's factor out y of s. So, y of s multiplied to s squared plus 7s plus 12. 
Okay? So, this is equivalent to, simplify muna natin tong left side, no? So, eh, right side rather, para at least mas madaling mag uh, tingin later kung ano yung mga factors natin for this one. So, we have here, anong common denominator natin? So, that is 2s minus 3, or rather 2 times quantity of s minus 3. So, we have 2 times 21 plus 7s times s minus 3. Minus 10 times 2 times S minus 3. Okay? So, plus 49 times S minus 3. All over 2 times S minus 3. Okay, hindi yan pwede mawala. So, let us simplify. So, we have here Y of S. Multiplied to S squared plus 7S plus 12. So, this is equivalent to 42. Diba? 42 plus 7S squared minus 21S. Okay? Then, this is negative uh, 20S plus 60. Okay, then we have plus 49s minus, so that is, uh, 4 times 3 is 12, 120 plus 27, so that is 147, all over, sorry, all over 2 times s minus 3. Okay, so... Let's simplify, so we have 7s squared, yun yung highest. So, ano yung mga may S? So, we have negative 21, negative 20, at saka 49. No? So, negative 21 minus 20, that's negative 41, plus 49, that is 8, di ba? So, plus 8S. Okay, then last, yung ating constant, so we have 42 plus 60 minus 147. So, 42 plus 60, that is 100. 100, uh, 100 plus one, negative 147, uh, 102. Sorry, 102 minus 147, so that is minus 45. Okay? All over 2 times S minus 3. Ayan. So, with this, no, divide na lang natin. So, we have here Y of S. S squared plus 7S plus 12. So, divide both sides by S squared plus 7S plus 12. So, cancel. Tapos dito din, mumultiply din natin dito. However, this is factorable, di ba? S squared plus 7S plus 12 is equivalent to S plus 3 and S minus, ah, uh, S plus 4, sorry. Ayan. Okay, so, obviously, what we will be doing is partial fraction decom position. Okay, so we have y of s is equivalent to So yung taas is it factorable? So let us check. Okay, so that is not factorable. So uh, we need to stick with it, no? So we have 7 s squared plus 8s minus 45. Okay, all over 2s minus 6, no? Pwede mo nang i-distribute yung isa para at least walang, walang left out. Ayan. So, we have three terms, no? So, we have a over 2s plus 6 or 2s minus 6 plus b over s plus 3 plus C over S plus 4. Okay? So, game, let us uh, find the values of A, B, and C. So, multiply mo lang, no? Uh, para mawala yung denominator. Multiply mo yung buong equation. Okay? For, uh, mula dito sa, bago ma, uh, after ng Y of S hanggang dun sa dulo, multiply mo sa buong denominator. Para at least, uh, mahiwalay mo yung mga I mean, ma-simplify mo yung equation mo. 
diba? for you to be able to determine what's the value of A, B, and C. So, we have A times, we have, ano yung denominators ng iba? S3, S4, or S plus 3 and S plus 4. Diba? Pero pag minultiply natin yung dalawa, diba anong lalabas? Ito, yung S squared plus 7, S plus 12. Ayan. So, plus B. 2S minus 6, S plus 4. Plus C, 2S minus 6, S plus 3. Ayan. Okay, so, uh, uh, di ba yung kanina ang ginawa natin is nag, uh, nag multiply tayo na uh, rather we we distributed everything then we did the uh, coefficient method. I'll introduce one alternative way. So we have s plus three and s plus four. So, pag mga ganito na nested yung nakamultiply sa B, medyo bothersome pa kasi kung imumultiply mo sila isa-isa. So, let's just find the value of S that will make these denominators zero. No? Ito, ito, at ito. Isasubstitute natin siya dun sa buong equation. Okay? Tapos, find the value of the unknown. Okay? So, una, sa 2S minus 6, no? So, we have... 2s minus 6, it should be 0. Okay? So, lipat mo, 2s is equal to 6. So, s is equal to 3. So, at s is equal to 3, magzi 0 si a. So, meaning, lahat na mayroong 2s minus 6, magzi 0. Hindi mo na siya isasama sa isosolve mo. So, at s is equal to 3, burayin ko yun, ha? So, at, at s is equal to 3, okay, so we have, 7 times 3 squared plus 8 times 3 minus 45 is equivalent to A times 3 plus 3 times 3 plus 4. Okay, so ano ang advantage nito? Uh, hindi mo na, hindi ka nagagamit ng systems of linear equation no, using this method. Uh, directa mo nang masosolve yung value ng uh, A, and B, A, B, and C. No. So, ayun. May mga kanya-kanyang advantage kasi per per method eh. So, simplifying here, so we have 7 times 9 that is uh 63 plus 24 minus 45. So equivalent to 3 plus 3 is 6 times 7. Okay, so we have 63 63 plus 24 minus 45, that's equivalent to 42. So, this is equivalent to 6 times 7, that is 42. So, we have 42A. Dividing both sides by 42, so the value of A is 1. Kasi di ba, remember, magka-cancel to. Ayan. Okay, so we already have 1. No? May isa na tayo na solve. So next, let's compute for the value of B naman. So, si B, or next uh, next denominator rather, no? Uh, tignan natin kung sino yung mawawala. So, kapag ka S is negative 3, mawawala to. Diba? Mag Magro-root yung... I mean, mag undefined yung B, yung B natin. So... By the way, this method is called, ano, uh, I think this is called zero method. Just you're finding the zeros. Okay. So, we have at S is equal to negative 3. So, we have 7 times negative 3 squared plus 8 times negative 3 minus 45. This is equivalent to... Lahat ng may S plus 3 mag, uh, mag 0. So, no need to write it. Ano yung may iwan? Si B, of course. Kasi wala naman siyang S plus 3. So, we have here B times 2 times negative 3 minus 6 times 4. Okay? So, we will have... In this case, so we have 63 minus 24 minus 45. This is equivalent to, so we have B times 2 times negative 3 minus 6 times 4. 
times. Uh, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 6 is negative 12. Times 4. Okay, so we have 63 minus 24 minus 45. That's equivalent to negative 6. So we have negative 12 times 4 is negative 48. So divide both sides by negative 48. So we have this will cancel. Also with the numerical values, no? So 6, 48. So I think this is 8. 6 times 8 is 48. So we have 1 over 8. No? So the, therefore, B is equivalent to 1 over 8. Okay, let me check. So 6 divided by 48. Yes, that's 1 over 8. Okay? So nakuha natin B. Let's find the last one. So let's compute for C. So at C, for for the for C naman, anong value ni S mag mag zero mag undefined si C, de ba that is uh that is uh negative four. So we have S is equal to negative four. So at S is equal to negative four. Ayan. So we have 7 times negative 4 squared. Okay. Ano nga yung ano natin? Plus 8 times negative 4 minus 45. This is equivalent to So lahat ng mayroong s plus 4 dito magzi 0. So we have a and b will just be 0. So si si na lang ang kukunin natin. So we have c times 2 times negative 4 minus 6. Okay? Then negative 4 plus 3. Kasi s plus 3. Diba S plus 3 yung isa nakamultiply kay C? Let's check. Ayan o, S plus 3. Okay? So, we have here 7 times 16. That is... So, 112. Ayan. So, 112. Okay? So, 8 times 4, that is 36. So, we have negative 30... Ah, uh, 32. Sorry. So, negative 32 minus 45. This is equivalent to C times 2 times negative 4 is ne uh, negative 8 minus 6. That is negative 14. Times uh, negative 4 plus 3. That is negative 1. And so, therefore, we have 112 minus 32. So, minus 45 is 35. Okay. So, this is equal to 14C. So, divide both sides by 14. So, this other one. Ayan, magka-cancel to. Tapos, ito naman ay, of course, no? Pero may iwan na 2 and 5. No? So, therefore, C is equivalent to 5 over 2. Ayan. So, we have the values of A, B, and C. So, we can now go back to our Y of S. ba? Ano yung, ano natin? Uh, decomposed fraction natin. A over 2 S minus 6. Or simply, 1 half times A, 1 over S minus 3. So, nilabas ko lang ah. Ayan, just for, just to make it ready for inverse Laplace later. So, plus B, 1 over S plus 3. And we have 
plus C over, uh, 1 over S plus 4. Okay? So, what, what are the values? So, we have 4A, that is 1. So, we have here 1 half times 1 over S minus 3. For B, we have 1 over 8. So, we have plus 1 over 8 times 1 over S plus 3. Plus C, that is 5 over 2 times 1 over S plus 4. Ba? So, eto, pwede na nating i-kunin yung inverse Laplace. Okay, so therefore, the final answer to the solution to the given differential equation is 1 half e raised to 3t, yun yung first term, plus 1 over 8 e raised to negative 3t, that's the second term, and we have for this one, we have plus 5 over 2 e raised to negative 4t. Ayan. So this is the uh, ano bang pwede natin gawin dito? Uh, sige, let's factor out 1 over 8. So, sir, pwede yun. Kahit 1 half lang yung ano. Yes, pwede yun. No? So, 1 over 8 times. So, since 1 over 8 yung factor out ko, kailangan kong mag-multiply ng uh, 8 dito sa numerator na tong 1 half para... Uh, <clears throat> mabalance ko yung pag-factor out ko. So, uh, 8 divided by 2, that is 4. 4 e raised to 3t plus e raised to negative 3t. Okay, then dito naman, magmumultiply din ako ng 4. Pero, since may 5, so we have 20 e raised to negative 4t. Yeah. So, this is the answer to the given differential equation. Okay? So, I'll cut the lesson here. So, next lesson, we will be talking about integral differential equations kasi medyo mahaba na. <laughs> so, thank you for listening, guys. So, see you on the next lesson.